consumer spending in the United States has dropped for the first time since April, and lots of companies are feeling the pinch that much, we know. A few are thriving, the holidays and the approach, and expensive stuff. Bollinger Champagne says the U.S. market is on fire. Charles Amon de Bellinet is the managing director of Champagne Bollinger. He joins me from Aix-en-Provence. Good to have you, sir. Now, this is interesting. Why do you think... I mean, money's tight, times are hard. Are people sort of choosing to celebrate with expensive champagne? <laughs> well, I think it's good news. It's good news for the champagne category because the shopping market is on fire in the U.S. due to a big change in terms of uh, consumption habit. In the past, you know, before the pandemic, champagne was mainly about celebration, but now it's much more about enjoyment, enjoyment with your friends, with your family, and for that, you, you are ready to, to spend quite a lot of money to get the best wines and the best food. Lucky in that the tariffs last year didn't hit you. And, uh, you know, I guess you're also drinking a bottle of your own champagne because now that the Biden administration is coming in next year, it's highly unlikely that French champagne will suddenly be added to the list. Yes, we, we hope so. We had a tough year already with the Brexit, you know, the, the Brexit that should happen. Let's see what will happen. But we had the Brexit and we had... We had as well the risk of tax in the US, but now it seems that it's going in the right direction, so we cross our fingers. So what are you going to do? Let's say that there is a deal, and we don't know what the deal is like, but I'm looking at your list. Your top 10 exports of champagne generally are the United Kingdom. So what are you ex what is your plan for January the 1st and going into next year, since you don't really know whether there'll be a deal or not? Yes, so what we had to do is to forecast, you know, a, a hard Brexit. So what we decided to do is to ship uh, two months of stock uh, in the UK before the end of the year. So we were extremely busy uh, the last uh, two months. But now on a midterm perspective, you know, we believe that it won't change a lot because there is a strong love story between Champagne and, um, and UK wine lovers. So... We don't believe that it will change next year. The times have been so just downright difficult over the last year. Um, and France is in a dreadful situation tonight. The UK is, the US is. Do you think people, when they, on New Year's Eve, they lift a glass of Bollinger, Champagne or whatever, do you think that they are just celebrating the end of a horrible year? Are they... What, what, what hope goes with them for next year, do you think? Well, I think, you know, you, it, it won't be about celebration because there was almost nothing to celebrate during 2020. But I guess, once again, it's about, you know, uh, having good time, quality time with your family and your friends. And for that, you know, a glass of Bollinger is perfect for that. So that's why we are quite confident for this end of the year. Are you, are you enjoying a glass of your own beverage? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. You know, it's 9 p.m. in France, so it's a perfect timing for having a glass of Bollinger. Right. And uh, you know, steady on, steady on. Um, look, the, um, the reality is your Bollinger is expensive. Um, there are, and I don't, don't have a drink but uh, at the thought of this, but there are cheaper and there are heaven forbid, sparkling wines of good provenance from elsewhere in the world. Why do you think people still go for the big names? Uh, I think, you know, it's, it's all about taste. It's all about taste. At the end of the day, Bollinger, you know, it's a very specific taste. It's about power and elegance. And it's a very unique taste. So it's very difficult to compare with other wines. And it's recognised as a great taste, and that's why, you know, this year we were extremely lucky to be selected as one of the top sure. 10 wine by the wine spectator. So, you know, when, when you have the quality, then you're ready to pay the price. You said that it's expensive, but in fact, you know, a bottle of, a bottle of uh -huh. Bollinger is around $50, but, you know, we edge it during at least four uh -huh. years, and 
everything is done by hand. It's about craftsmanship. So, you know, it's a very good quality for money. Well, a toast to 20... I don't have any Bollinger, not that I can see around the <laughs> studio, but I have got a French sparkling water, so that'll have to do. I wish you, sir, <laughs> uh, all the best. Salut to uh, the, the new year. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. And to you.